Okay, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're going to be doing a uh, another Star Striders game versus the uh, Arbides, the Exaction Squad. Um, so I'm kind of trying to test for the next, like, the upcoming Command Point tournament. I'm kind of on the fence uh, between three teams, between Star Striders, Hand of the Archon. And and actually Arbides. playing against this team, it seems like it would be a good chance to use the dog because they could close the gap between some of your shooters really well. True. So that's like the one time I had success with the dog was was with a team like this. I think I was playing Vetguard, and um, you know they were able to to use his ten inch charge to like really close the gap and then lock somebody down. It was nice. Interesting. Yeah, I'd like I'd like to see some success with these guys because I, I I they're really fun to play. I I really do enjoy them, but I have had. And I have seen zero success. Um, so I've played I've played three games with them now, and I've mm -hmm. played against them five times. And one game where I was playing against Hand of the Archon, it was like a twelve to fourteen loss. So that was like a really close game. And then literally every game other than that has just been a blowout. I think the team composition really, really matters with these guys. Like, you'll win or lose games based off of picking the right operatives. I would, uh, I would agree with that. I'm about ten games in, um, and and I, I heavily agree with that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say if like we could we could switch seats to red to blue if you wanted to switch change sides if that mattered to you but oh uh yeah let me let me roll for attacker so you rolled a yeah. two mm -hmm. okay i get a one. Oh, wow okay i thought it was going to be an easy decision there fair enough all right what do i want <sighs> okay so i mean we'll definitely go extra cp that's that's a good one <laughs> sorry my cats are freaking out all good um i'm gonna be You're doing loot red side I well, I don't know, man. That backside is not that good, and I'm afraid of space lasers. Um, I'm gonna pick defender, and I'm gonna go blue side, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, switch seats then. Sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna start moving stuff. Okay. Cool. So. One thing that I have a huge advantage over the cops is um, my shooting. My shooting is just straight up 100% better than theirs. Um, their melee is better than mine, but my assassin has a parry, so I'm actually not really that afraid of um, charging my assassin into the shield guys because I can just parry one of their hits away. Like, for example, if they get a crit, like we can just parry that crit or, or, you know, parry a hit or whatever. They're not going to have too many hits in. And I have five attacks. So we should still probably be able to kill a guy. Um, so that's kind of my thought process going into this game. Um, what am I getting? Oh, yeah, I know what I need. It's under... No, it's under this. So... Yeah, so I got that upcoming Command Point tournament coming up next week. Um, we're going to be super, super busy uh, moving. So I don't know how many games I'm realistically going to be recording next week because I don't, I don't have internet at my new place. So that's just something to be aware of. I'll try and record like a few games this weekend because I'm, I'm supposed to be moving Sunday. So maybe like tonight and tomorrow night I'll try to just grind out games and then we'll try and release them over the next week. So I at least have some content coming out. And a uh, couple normal questions that I asked. Do you have any silence guys? Um, other than the giant space laser? No. Okay. Uh, do you have any guys with a uh, blast weapon? Um, no. Okay. So it's basically yeah. a bunch of last guns. Yeah. I mean, like, I can I can take a frag grenade, but that's, yeah. that's pretty much it. And then, obviously, the giant space laser has a okay. uh, guided shell profile. It's 
pretty much where I get most gotcha, of my blocks. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, so we'll definitely go that. I'm, I'm just d debating whether or not I want adaptable terms or if we go for... What about guys with stun? You have a lot of guys with stun. Yeah, the assassin... Oh, sorry. Actually, she does have a silent profile. She's got the stun darts. Okay. Um, okay, range six, I see. Okay. Yeah. But they're they're not really a, like a damaging weapon. They're just, they're just meant to incapacitate. Yeah. Um, so she's got that. Um, and then that's her stun profile. Okay. And then um, the duelist, is that like uh, strike first yes. on defense or something? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just and like, just, uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then, uh, well, it's it's a it's a strike first, but it has to be a parry. Um, yeah, I'm familiar with the Karnathi. I use yeah. them a lot. Yep. Okay. And then she's got a six up field on pain. Okay, great. Um, yep. Okay, and then your leader is just kind of good, good mid ranged. Yeah, she's she's got like indirect pistols. Uh, which is pretty good. She rerolls. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, she rerolls a shot if she hurts a wounded or if she's shooting at a wounded person, um, and then during her activation she can do a free fight or a free shoot. Um, so she she's pretty good. Yeah. So AP two, but you get a free shot. Okay. Got it. Yes. AP ult. Okay. All right. Cool. And you're pretty familiar with with this team, so. Yep. Uh, I'm doing the uh, melee profile on the leader with a lumen, and for some reason this. Mo oh, I need to attach it to the board. I forgot to bring the board. There, there it is. Um, but yeah, for some reason the lumen doesn't uh, usually show up when I drop it on there. Weird. Yeah. Oh, let me let me make sure I got the right units out. All right. Well, while he figures that out, I'm still. I think. I think we go this. We select that, that, and I'm just, I'm just debating. Cause yeah. I, okay. How badly do I really need? Because honestly, I don't really think that we're gonna get much vantage going on here. So I think, I think what we'll end up doing is we'll just end up going two tac ops. We'll just keep it simple. I think we'll do that. All right. So my adaptable terms is we'll go plus one CP. Um, plus six equipment points, and then I'll select two archetypes. Okay, sounds good. So we'll, we'll go... Um, if you look at my triangle here, yep. Uh, these, these front five are all going to have lumens on them. They're my, my front liners. Okay, and this guy's got the shield? Yep, his okay. shield profile, yeah. All right, I'm just going to write and, shield on him just so I yep. can remember. No problem. And I'm just going to drop this token on, but if for some reason it doesn't save, I don't know why. But he's he's got a lumen on him too. Okay. Okay, so that's the five, and then I'm gonna do box medic, a frag grenade, Gator, Malicator, on marksman, somebody, and grenade launcher. Okay, so like the 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 Just usual a frag guys. Frag grenade on who's castigator? He, who's he not? Oh, and he's then not... I'll do one manacles on one of the big one of the frontliners. He's not taking the pistol guy, so you don't have the pistol guy on your team. No. Okay. But Malicator, she's the free mission action one, right? Yes. Okay. And then Vox is the AP. Yeah. And I've got Medic, Arrester, Bro, Gunner, Sniper. Yeah, this guy's pretty silly right now. Have you have you followed like the whole conversation about his ability? Yeah, not being able to be affected by AP and stuff. <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. Yeah. Um, what do you agree with that or not? Uh, I I think um I've I've had a very lengthy conversation with my local community about this. I think uh it's very obviously not intended, but um I I think the best way to go about it is just do raw until it gets fixed. I don't think it's that big a deal that he ignores AP. Um, it's annoying, but it's like he he'll still die to like. Pretty much anything that shoots at him. Pretty much, yeah. But yeah, okay. I don't... So that's my team, my equipment. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let me figure out what equipment I want to take. Yeah, and I need to figure out my attack okay. ops here. So obviously we go visors here, visor here. Um. Possibly a visor here. I don't know how much stun he's. He's got like an okay amount of stun. So, 
so let's see. We'll definitely go carapace armor on him. Uh, definitely go hot shot capacitor on him. Go visor on the assassin and the medic. Whoops, we put that on the wrong person. She can't take that stuff. There we go. Hot shot capacitor. That. And I'm thinking we take a visor on him as well. Um, so that's two, four, five, six, seven. So I have nine points of equipment left. So we could go carapace armor on these four guys. One. Oops. Two. Three. So I'm thinking we'll do carapace armor on these three guys. I don't really need it on the heavy gunner. He's not going to get shot. So that's six points. And I have nine points, which would allow me to take a crack grenade. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then plus four for the carapace armor. And the hot shots. So that's 16. Okay. I've got my equipment. So I am going um, carapace armor on these two guys. Um, the void master is going carapace armor, uh, a flash visor, and a hot shot capacitor. Oh yeah, if, let me know if you need me to explain. It's a four up save, and then hot shot capacitors plus one to the damage profile on his on his last pistol. And then flash visor makes them immune to APL uh, and stun. So any anything that modifies their APL, they can ignore, and they they're not affected by stun. Um, and uh, yeah, so that uh, this guy's got carapace armor and a crack grenade. She has a flash visor, and she has a flash visor. Okay. None. Okay, sounds good. Wow, five up save on everybody else. That's rough. Um, uh, yeah, it's. Not, well, I guess it's not everybody. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh. Let's see. He's got a four up save. She has a four up invulnerable save. Mm -hmm. Uh, the medic has a five up save. But yeah, this team's For everybody else. Yeah, okay, cool. The team's pretty tough. Um. Okay. Sounds good. I need to select tac ops. So we absolutely go retrieval. I mean, that's not even up for debate. Um. Vantage would have actually been viable. But I think Seize Ground is easier. So we go recover item. I mean, we, we might still take Vantage, though. What attack ops do we have? I don't know. Okay, uh, what, what does Investigate Motive Force look like? So we need to do it three times. Yes. So we could go obviously here, here, here. That seems pretty reasonable. Okay, sure. Okay, and then we would want seize ground. I'm kind of thinking. Can I do secure center line turn one? I don't think so. If I can, I... We can. So we could just do like a big dash with the dog for secure center line and try and get the dog in right there. I actually think that's like a really good idea, especially because he doesn't have the rebel out of And you saw that it was secure mission? Whoops. Okay. I actually, I actually like that overseas ground. I think secure center lines, because we can we can get an easy turn one score with that, and then uh, just try and make up for it on the following turns. I think that's the way to go. Group them up. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, I am too. I will first place the first barricade. All 
All right, so. Right there. trying to see where where we would realistically need something i think i think uh having a barricade right here makes sense just so we can kind of go after this objective i'm gonna try and push this one okay he does have the sin reveals itself tack op or uh strategic ploy so all right I'm not necessarily safe. Especially from this objective, because he could scramble over this and shoot me. So that that's absolutely something to be aware of. But we're going to be doing um, Undaunted Explorers quite a bit this game. Which should allow me to shrug off a lot of the damage for shotguns. It's pretty cool how popular this team is. I mean, I don't think they're very good, but uh, people seem to really like them. That, that was kind of my experience, too, when I was playing these guys. Like, I, I just think the, the theme of the team is so much fun that it's like, it's frustrating to lose, but like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like you, you keep wanting to come back to the team. I had the I same say feeling. where I'm going to need one. Uh, I had the same feeling with Hyrotech. To be honest, I thought Hyrotech uh, is a really, really fun team. And the theme just feels so dead on. I'm not really sure where I'm Sorry, I'm not, I'm not locked in yet. But... It's all good. I mean, we'll just throw barricade. I don't know. So I could I could set up right here and like be completely safe from everything. So I'm not really too worried about that. Um, he's gonna deny my scouting option, which my scouting option would probably be recon. We might like. Oh, let's just go there. Okay. But I th I think we'll just keep the heavy gunner engaged and like right over here. And just make life hell. Um, yeah, I'm not. I honestly, I'm not really sure where. I guess what we could do is we could try and block this off. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Um, then I gotta split my team. So I I still hate this deployment. Like it's just so tedious. Like I've I've accepted it, and I I don't think it's that bad. Um, I I just don't really see the benefit. Like I've I've had the benefit explained to me. Like, oh you it it like it counters um somebody like taking advantage of someone going all conceal or you know if somebody gets a bad deployment then you know they can at least try and um negate it by you know counter deploying their opponent and it's like okay i mean i don't necessarily disagree with that but it's just like i don't think at the end of the day like good players playing each and god i can't speak good players playing against each other I don't think that that really is a huge factor. I think as long as the board is relatively okay, decent, I'm done with the first placement. Like, it's not really contributing that much in a game. Okay, just give me a second. Um, I'll look at his stuff in a second. Um, so I want her together with him. She's gonna be babysitting the assassin, so they're gonna be all together in one big happy group. Um, the Void Master, I want him chilling with his bros. And then Vayne, I think, 
you'll go over here. So this guy's going to be going here, here, and here. Okay. Void Masters and his guys are going to be kind of pushing this side. And then we hold this flank. Okay. Um, all right. And then we just got three shield bros over here. What's the, uh, sorry, what, what's the collar? Um, that's the, uh, shackles. Oh, okay. He's got shackles. Okay. So, yeah. You, I'm assuming you know what the shackles are, but. Yeah, you can try yeah. and arrest me. Yeah. Is it... If both of us live, it's seven and under is the Seven one and under. Profile. Okay. So I that wouldn't it's... work on the assassin, the electromeister, the void master, or vein. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So assassin will go and conceal. One of these days. I'll get someone arrested. Yeah. We'll put we'll put my doggo buddy right here. This guy's just going straight for secure center line and retrieval. Turn one. Okay, from that angle, he's not hitting. Uh, medic obviously is going in conceal. And then what's her? Her radius. And then this guy is just straight up. I don't give a fuck. This, I, so I tried this with Hand of the Archon when I was playing. Um, when I was playing Hand of the Archon, I just set my heavy gunner up and engage and just went full disrespect. And do you have the tech op where basically everyone gets a free move or something? Nope. A free dash? I forget. I do not. Okay. I do have uh, one for plus one movement. Um, okay. Where is it? Uh, New Frontier. So everybody but the Canid gets plus one movement as long as I'm moving towards your drop zone, but that's it. Okay. Um, I do have a damage reduction ability. Okay. Um, if you're and, within an objective marker. Yeah, and your... Uh, BDSM shotgun guy does not ignore my damage reduction because mine doesn't affect your weapon. It, it reduces damage coming into me. So just something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Which is weird. <laughs> it's so weird. That they... Is that your four there? Yep. Okay. It's so weird this guy ignores... This guy ignores the minus one damage um, for Breachers and I think Nurgle Legionnaires. But my thing, it doesn't. <laughs> like, they really need a standard. This piece right here is light, right? Yes. Okay. They really need a standardized damage reduction. Probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to give this guy a flash visor, but I didn't have the points and I wanted a crack grenade, so I don't think it's a big deal. This guy, I need his 4-inch aura, and this guy, I need his 4-inch aura. And Medic obviously has his 6-inch aura of ignore uh, injury, but... That's easier to track. Six inches is easier to track once you're used to TTS, but four inches is such an awkward aura because, like, nothing in the game has four inch auras except for this team, pretty much. So. Okay, so he's got the Malicator, and this is another Subductor. Okay. So what I will try to do is I'm going to recon up here. And then if I'm allowed to and I get first turn, we'll try and drop a guided shell on these guys. But I suspect okay, that's going to get countered. If I were a betting man, 
I would assume that it's going to get countered. But we might as well give it a give it a go. Um, it doesn't make sense to put that guy in conceal because he's just going to run up anyway. This guy can go and conceal. And the grenade guy is going to go right here. Lucia Vane is probably going to go right here. And then we'll put... Uh, I'm trying to think where he would go. Okay. All right. Uh, so these three we'll set up here. So I've got uh, Voidsman in Engage, Voidsman in Conceal, and then my uh, Void Master in Conceal. Sounds good. So if I can't Recon Dash up, what I'll still do is we'll still activate him first go and move him right there. So what that's going to force is either he's going to have to shoot his grenade launcher at this guy, which I mean, if he does, then whatever. Um, but if he doesn't, we're dropping a nuke on these guys. That's kind of the plan. Got the sniper. They really need to fix the damage profile on this guy. Like, 3 1 is, or sorry, 4 1 is just. <sighs> completely disagree with the decision to reduce the crit damage. I think 4 4 4 Mortal Wounds 3 might be a bit much. That's a that's a pretty high damage profile, and especially given the fact that snipers are typically really high damage profile weapons anyway. Because you got to think of like the damage with the mortal wounds. You're it's basically just a game of staying out of vantages spotlight, huh? Yeah. Um, hmm. You're basically having to accept the fact that um, you're you're three six on your sniper if you think of it that way. Um, I don't have any more room over here. So that guy being 4-7 would make him a really, like, by far the highest damage output sniper in the game. Um, but I think... Well, I guess it, that's what the medic's for, huh? Yep. I think making it 4-4 four, four Mortal Wounds 2 is... Was your space laser like a blast? Like, like if you can target him, does it target a bunch of people? I forget. Yeah, so I've got three profiles that I can use. Uh, they're Ballista oh, okay. Skull 3, by the way. Um, okay. So I have the Giant Death Laser, which is 6-7 AP2 Barrage. And so Barrage means it ignores cover unless you're under a roof. That's all that means. Um, and then Guided Shell, which is 5 attacks, BS3, damage 3-5, Barrage, Blast 2. And then I have a Cluster Bomb, which is 5 attacks, BS3, uh, damage 2-3, but it's Blast 3 inches. Okay. Oof. So, um, it's wild. Okay. Yeah. If I if I get that on a clustered group of guys, it it could be lights out for them. Mhm. Mm and you can activate that anytime uh an engaged order character has line of sight or anytime anybody has line of sight. Anybody anytime anybody has line of sight, however, it can only come from Navis guys or Vane. So, any of my voidsmen or Vane Okay, and you have how many voidsmen? One, uh, two, three. So that's three, four, and then five. Okay. Um, so it can only come from those models, and I can only activate it if I have a model um, that has not activated. So meaning, like, it can't be the last activation of the turn. Yeah. It counts as an activation? Uh, yes, but... I don't burn the model's activation. Like I'm not. Sure. I don't. I don't select a model for it. I just use a model for line of sight purposes. Mm -hmm. But so you would shoot that, and then it would be my turn. Yes. Okay. Measure that. Okay. Well, f uh, for now, that's where I'm gonna go. Okay. All right. So, Electro Priest, bro. So I want him in conceal. 
I want him within three inches, just in case, like, he gets smacked by something. I want him to be able to, uh, you know, shrug it off. But basically, my thought process is, um, we'll go plus one move this turn. And then I'll dash him onto the objective. We'll do the, um, we'll do the, uh, investigate mode of force. And then we'll move seven Is it the, the voidsman that's on engage or the dog? The voidsman on engage. Okay, sorry. It's a little hard to tell. It's all good. Okay. Uh, we'll keep the crack grenade up. We'll put vein in conceal. So I don't, I don't really feel like I need to push Fane out. So we'll just keep... She's got indirect pistols, so like we could handle any anything coming and pushing into us. Because we can move, shoot, and then dash back. Um, we'll keep the crack grenade. Mm. I think we might go plus, plus one APL. Just so we can move, tap, dash back. Makes sense. And then Vane's is going to hang out. Okay. I'm set up. So um, the Crack Grenade Voidsman and Vane are in Conceal. And then my Electromeister is also in Conceal. Okay. So as of right now, you've got... Uh, this one right here is kind of getting covered by that by that um, hit points, I can't really see. Is that an engage on under like that? Um, for who? Right, right, right there. There, uh, okay. It's yeah, a conceal over here. Okay, conceal. Cool. Vane's also in okay. conceal. The only person okay, so engaged only is that two. guy. Yep. Gotcha. Watch that. Okay, well, I only have my gunner on engage. Okay. Sounds good. Um, all right, scouting. Mm -hmm. That's a big, it's a big blue dice. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to reveal all my tack ops turn one and try and complete them. I think, all right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so I can get first try. Recon. All right. Would you like to um, stop my recon? Yeah, I think I shall. Okay. Yep. That's fair. Do I still want first turn? Okay, so I'm going to play barricade. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's going to have a little sniper nest up here. That's fine. My guess is it might go in this corner. Where's the sniper at? Right there. Yeah, so he's just going to be move dashing up in this corner. Or is he going to put it over here? Fair. So it looks like he's going to push this side pretty hard, so I'm probably going to do the same thing on this side. Um, All right. I can deal with these subductor guys. So you just shoot them. Um, you go first. All right, actually, you get to I choose. Can, I can Sorry. choose, yeah. Right. Um, that's a good question. I think I will let you go first. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I'm going to pass on strat. Okay, I'm going to spend one CP on new frontier. So, uh, my guys have plus one move for this turn. Okay, sounds good. I will pass again. Okay. Um, I've got... Uh, nothing else I want to play. So, Tac Ops. I will pass. Okay. Um, so, I will reveal Recover Item. And we will place that right uh, put it right there. Okay. Anything from you? Nope. 
Okay, um, so I will reveal uh, Investigate Motive Force. So this is the Electro Priest. Uh, he's got to go do a mission action on um, objectives. Okay, so looks like the second time he performs it, you get the VP. The third time is two. Yep. It's not my where does he? Okay, so he performs it. Well, well, yeah. So the objective marker can't be in my drop zone, which there's no objectives in in our drop zones on this map. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I can do it uh, on any objective, and if I do it twice, I get one point, and three times I get two. Okay, and so he uh, ha is it has to be separate, different ones. Yes. Okay, he can't do the same one. Okay. Yep. All right, sounds good. All right, and then my last one, we'll do secure center line. Okay, getting it all out there. Yep. I can do that. Oh, wait, Sounds I cool. I made a mistake. I can't reveal that this turn. Yeah, after the first. Okay. Oops. I was going to say, <laughs> you could get your dog there, and I, I can't get a guy on my center line. Yeah. Well, they, that was that was actually like, the whole reason why I selected this. Because yeah. I was thinking, I was like, oh, man. Okay, so I can reveal this on turn one. No. <laughs> turns that out, would be yeah. very strong. Yeah. <laughs> turn, turns out, no. Uh, okay, well, then I'm going to go first. Unless there's anything else. God damn it. I always fuck up security. Uh, no. That's going to be it. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I'm going to uh, take a shot here at this Voizman. Okay. He, um, he is within three of the medic, just so you know. Okay. Yeah. It's good to get shots. Fair out. enough. And I'm going to try and set up some uh, non-receptical shooting here. Are you okay with that sight line there? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to dash with the uh, marksman to here. Okay. And take a shot. Sounds good. So he is on four. Four dice, three up. All right, so we got three hits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so he'll stop two hits and take four. Okay. All right. Whoops, he hasn't activated yet. Uh, so you still have the grenade deer. Okay. So I'm going to have the Electromeister activate and he'll go three inches with the dash. Let me see. We can go two to right there. There we go. One inch to go there. He's going to investigate motive force on that objective. So I'm just going to change that to red. Okay. And then, um, so he can do that for free because he can do a, a mission action for minus one during his activation. And then he's going to go seven inches right there. Sounds good. Okay. All right, over to you. Yep. Do my subjugator thing. Mm -hmm. And he's going to move dash to this edge. And pass. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have my medic activate now. And she's going to go 
scramble across the terrain. Actually, we'll just do that. Okay, so if I were to go such a way. So I want her within three. So if we did something like that. And. Okay, so even if you were to come out with the grenade launcher from that angle, we're still getting cover there. Okay, that's fine with me then. All right. So we'll go there. All right. I'm going to activate the Malicator. Okay. Who's going to move? Well, it doesn't really matter. But he's going he's to start with dashing. Um, dash to here. He's going to use his free mission active action to capture. Okay. And then he's going to run up to here and hopefully stay out of vantage. Sounds good. Yeah. I mean, like, let me just double check his spot there. But yeah, that's where I'm going to go. All right. Um, I'm going to have this guy activate and we're going to move up here. I think we'll just move and dash to that spot right there. Okay. That's scary. Yep. A little, little, little scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Just, just uh, just the basic guy with the last gun <laughs> just, up on a vantage. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, just hanging around doing nothing important. Yep. Totally not calling in orbital strikes right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got the blood moving a little bit. All right. So. Yeah, uh, subjugator. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on, did we save positions? I forget. Uh, no, nope. probably not. Can, can we do that real quick? We can. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, I don't think he's got the movement to get up there. Can we get over? We might be able to get an angle on that sniper with my Gatling gun. That's uh, it's 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 kind of a it's kind of a hard angle. Man, if I could if I could hit the sniper though, that's hate to waste my extra AP on that point, but I might have to. Um, okay, well, that point's not going anywhere. I'm safe with the medic for now. I, I will let you know I do I do have a I do have a shot on these guys with support assets. Oh, you do? Yeah. But he's not being covered by the heavy heavy train there. Uh, no. So. Oh, yeah, I see that now. Yeah, because if you look at. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I see that now. Okay, so yeah. the next shot will be a laser if I don't kill him. Yeah. So there there could be like a guided shell blast that hits these mm -hmm. guys in. If I'm being honest, that probably would kill all three of them. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So just... Oh, yeah. hey. That's not good. just wanted to make sure he's aware of that. I mean, it, it sounds like he's uh, hasn't fought against Star Striders That guy has five so. ups on save, or did he have the uh, no. character oh, armor? No, he, he does have the armor. armor. Yeah. yeah, so he's four. If he takes a crack grenade, he could still die, but... I don't, I don't really think he's gonna get killed from that. It hits on fours, so realistically he's gonna get two hits. So as long as I save one, I don't die. 
But if he gets three hits, that becomes a lot harder. All right. Well. Might be my only chance to save him, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to probably move my gunner to that position and shoot. Sounds good. Okay. I actually think um, the better deployment for the Arbides would have been red. Because the, the vantage points that I have on this side versus the vantage points that he has on this side, it's like... Realistically, this is this is what he can see if I were to be on this vantage point. Um, obviously, I could hit All right, here. Go, but... go, grenade launcher. Okay. Save my team. Yeah. Uh, All right. So that's uh, four up, four dice, AP one. Yep. He could just hit with everything. That's what my grenade launcher does. Three hits. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'll probably CP reroll. I want to make sure this guy dies. That's fair. That's better. Okay. All right. I can't, I can't, That's I can't pretty sure he's that. dead, yeah. Yep. Well played. Fair enough. That's the risk I took. I can't be upset about that. We have other plays. Well, it's so. nice to see me not re roll like absolute garbage. Yep. Yesterday was uh, a bit of a shit show for dice rolls. So was it's it? good, to nor good to normalize a bit. So, guaranteed, no matter what happens this game, or what happens this turn, I can always drop a shot on this guy with the laser gun. So, I'll have that in my back pocket, but I'm kind of thinking that... Just thinking where... 28... There we go. For some reason that wasn't working. For... Okay, so... Okay, we can get a shot on him if I dash. Alright, so if my heavy gunner dashes to there, we should then have a shot. Um... Oops. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this out of here. Um, all right, uh, so he is injured, but my medic gives a anti-injury aura, so he's still hitting on fours. Wow, nice. Yeah, she's really good. She's best medic in the game. Um, all right, so six shots hitting on fours. Oof, that was a very good roll. Um, no kidding. I think it's impossible for you to survive that. I agree. I agree. Um, wow, okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not what I rolled. That was I just randomized those. There you go. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, so I, I only saved one. So yeah, he's toast. I guess that guy doesn't like getting shot by sniper rifles. No kidding. <laughs> God damn! You just smoked that guy. All right. All right. I mean, who does really? Yeah, that's fair. I'd be pretty pissed off if someone shot me with a sniper rifle. Absolutely. So we need to investigate one more. So I think with this, obviously, we'll investigate next turn, and then we'll try and move Dash out and investigate on that one, and that'll complete that on turn three. This guy's going to do the best he can to stay sneaky as he caps that point. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to have this Voidsman move out, and... Uh, He's going to just toe in on that objective and tap. Okay. Yep. 
So then we'll go 3 APL, I'm thinking. Oh, I don't know. He's got the shotgun right here. Maybe we don't even need to go 3 APL. Maybe we just, like, put this guy in cover. Because we're going to kill the grenade launcher this turn. So he's not really going to have any long range shooting because I already killed a sniper. Too bad, too. I was just one turn away from making it harder to do that. Oh, nice. But I didn't I didn't get there in time. All right, so he drops the uh, Proctor. Yeah, I love this ability. I yeah, not bad. I, I absolutely think it's such a cool ability. All right. Um, so I think this Voidsman is going to move to, and then, yeah, he'll just go to right there and then we'll tap this objective. Okay. Boy, I, oh, I thought, uh, that guy was capping it. No, he was doing his, oh, whoops, his thing. Music turn off? Yes. Okay, over to you. Okay. Castigator. Going to move. Boy, is he going to get to safety here? No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I have any angle on him. Like, even if my heavy uh, gunner wanted to shoot down this, like, there's going to be yeah. terrain yeah. clipping in and hitting him. Okay, well, that's where I'm at for now. Okay. So... I think we'll have a Lucia Vane uh, move Dash out, and she's going to go to right here. Think. I'll just put her right on the edge of that barricade. Okay. Live it on the edge. Yep. Yep. We're just gonna fire a laser at that guy. Okay. Subductor so going to move dash. Okay. Um. All right. So I'll have my cannon to activate. So he's going to start off with a dash, and then we'll go five. So I've got three inches of movement left. Six. Uh, wait. So we'll go six. Okay, and that's seven. Uh, he can pick up for free mid action so he'll do that and then we can move another inch so he'll go to right here okay. that's a good dog yep okay sounds good um going to activate the vox homie who is going to probably just move to here and pass a plus one AP to the subjector. Okay. Um, I'm going to have uh, my support asset activate, and we're going to fire a laser cannon down onto the gunner from uh, Vane. Okay. Um, so we're using the Archaeotech beam profile, and that guy gets vaporized. Yes, he does. And yeah. Can't. Okay, so I cannot use the Archaeotep meme next turn. Okay. Bye bye. Is it just auto kill kind of situation here? Um. Well, it's it's AP two damage six seven. So like, uh, you'll get a cover because you're you're under the roof right now, but mm -hmm. it'll still be twelve damage pushing into you. Ooh. Nice. Yep. Yeah, it's really good. Oops, I didn't mean to roll that. I'm trying to throw away the dice. There we go. All right, back to you. Okay. Go. 
God, I love this team. They're so much fun to play. Okay, Spectre's just going to move Dash up here and take the point. Sounds good. Um, we'll do my Assassin next. So she's going to Dash. Okay, and then she's got a 7-inch move. So she could go all the way to right here, actually. Um, do I want to go that far, though? Probably not. We'll just go to right there. And then she has three APL, so she'll use her final APL to tap that. Excellent. Okay, Medic is going to move. Dash. Boy, is he in any kind of cover there? Um, From this Barely. direction? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're going to get it. All right. I would have to move like right here, so I could expose you, but from mm -hmm. my current position, I can't see you. Okay. Um, okay, and then I just have my Void Master, so he's going to probably just push up. So I'm gonna push him up to go. Right there. Okay. And that allows us. That's the end of the turn for me. We can move up with a crack grenade now and we'll still be in reroll range. Alright. Um, so it looks like we both score three points on primary. Um, I'll get one for recover item. And then do you have any tac ops that you scored? No. Okay. Sounds good. Alright. So we both gain a CP. Um, let's save positions. And uh, roll for initiative. Okay. Do you want to go first or second? I'll probably go first, yeah. Okay. Oh, we got a ready operatives. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're taking first turn. All right, strategic ploys. Yeah. So I mean from this position, this this guy's a shield guy. So he's got two shield guys and the castigator coming up on this Gonna flank. Do uh, guilt reveal itself, so okay. I can bypass bypass cover at four inch. Sounds good. Um, I'm going to spend one CP on uh, undaunted explorers. So that's my damage reduction if I'm standing on an objective. Roger that. Anything else from you? Yep. I'm going to do terminal decree as well. So okay. rerolls if within four. Okay. Um, do I want to reroll anything? Go lethal proximity. Um, yeah, I am going to spend one CP for lethal proximity. So if I shoot you with, uh, and I'm within six, I can reroll one of my shots. Okay. Um, I want to just remind you that's probably not worth the CP. Yeah. Cause you have, you have the lumens on your shield guys, right? Everybody in the front line, yeah. Fair enough. I, I'm still sure. going to do it. Okay, roger that. All right, uh, anything from you? Um... Because right now, it would just be the Malicator or the Castigator. I think that's it for now. Okay. I pass. 
sounds good. Um, Tac Ops? Uh, I'm going to reveal a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh, so let's start with... Uh... Let's see. I'll do Eliminate Guards. Okay. Okay. And this this guy here is on the point, right? Yes. Okay. Then I will nominate him. Okay. Um, I, here's where I would play secure center line. Okay. Right. Yeah, he's taking okay. seek and destroy. I'll I also. I reveal... still think I still think seek and destroy is the way to go. Like if if a team has seek and destroy, I in my opinion, you should always take seek and destroy over other archetypes. Like it's such a. Sorry, fast I'm just trying to figure out one of these. I I have to reveal right when it happens. The other one I have to reveal ahead of time. Hold on. All good. It it's such a vastly secure. Uh, God, I can't talk. It's such a vastly superior. Okay, so it's route archetype. that I have to reveal now. Yeah. Okay. I have nothing else to reveal. Okay. Okay, I also have nothing left to reveal. Just curious how he's planning on killing this guy. Because this guy's got the shield, right? So I will go first. Okay. I mean, if he goes 3 APL, he could dash, scramble, shoot. I'm assuming that's how, what his plan is. I mean, we're standing on that objective, so I, I could survive a shotgun blast. So. Or is he going to throw the grenade at me? That's fair. Kind of vain, just walk up and eat that guy. I think we would. We saved positions, right? Uh, I think so, but let me just do it now again. Okay. Okay. We could just move dash up and just fire digital lasers into him. Do like eight mortal wounds. My pistol might be better though. I'm not really sure. Eight. <laughs> so close from the charge, man. Look at that. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I could remeasure that again or what. That was um, pretty stinking close. I mean, that was after one inch. I, I we saved it right there. Oh, because the whole thing is you got to move through this barricade. Yeah, yeah. so I, I moved one inch to get to where I was, and then I did two inches to there. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just not all that familiar with the door. Like, could I just pick him up from here? Yes. And then just measure straight? Uh, Not exactly. You still, you still need to move through where the door is at. So you're probably going to have to move slightly this way. So you might actually end up further away than uh, your first measurement. Yeah, because you're going to have to go a little bit this way and then go out. Okay, so I'd almost have to do a full three before I can go through the door? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so that was a three, four, five, I think. So yeah. I only have one more inch. Oy, rough. Okay, and so like one inch basically just gets me through the door? Uh, pretty much. Um, one you, you actually wouldn't be able to get through the door because you're on 28s. So you're slightly bigger than one inch. Um, so if you were on a twenty-five, you could you could go through the door, but because your base is so big, you need more than an inch to get through. Okay. 
Okay. So if he were to go one inch there. Oh, it's just so hard um, to get it perfect. Yeah, it's all good. I think there is a way that you can get there. So I think if you go one inch, then one inch there, and then if you were to go, oh, am I measuring? Oh, I'm measuring on the building. This is such an awkward angle. It is okay. a little. So you've gone two inches so far. Yeah, I have three left. So you could go right there. Yeah. Three, and then you have one more inch to go. No, I, I I moved before you saved positions. I moved one inch. Oh, you moved another inch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right. That's as far as I can get right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which, well, I, I'm um, gonna move in there and take a shot. It's worth some worth some victory points yeah, for that, me. Yeah, that does put you within four inches of him. So you, yeah, you can shoot him. Yep. Let's okay. do it. Sounds good. Um. Let's see. So I get a re-roll, and. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, you know what I'm just remembering? He doesn't have a gun. I totally forgot that I didn't oh, yeah. give him a gun. So yeah. I am gonna I'm <laughs> not gonna do that. <laughs> That's fair. I'm not gonna do that at all. Um sorry. That's why uh WYSIWYG's uh, moving important. <laughs> him back to the inch where he was. That's right, he's he's doing the okay. shiv, dude. Okay, I'm feeling very silly now, excuse me. <laughs> it's all good. I completely uh, forgot he had a shield too. <laughs> what? Glad we really spent have to five put minutes. Up a whole another turn of getting shot at before I can charge. So you can charge there. I think we smoke that guy. So the funny thing is, is these these particular models, and I should have updated them before we played, but these okay. particular models are. Um, are uh, I think they're 32s. Oh, are they? And and I'm supposed to be on 28s, so I, I really should be able to fit through that little space right there. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm just trying to get within. I guess I mean I'm in within engagement of both of you, so I'm okay. that's a good spot for me. So, so I'm just gonna stop right there. I I will let you know. Um, if you're in engagement range of the dog and another person, you have to fight the dog. Oh, okay. Sounds good, I suppose. Yep. Gotten good at, at protecting my assassin. Um, She's the most important person. Then I'll the fight team. the dog. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, Fido. So I've got four attacks, three, four rending. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to use the defensive profile. Ooh. So repression shield. That worked out well. So I got yeah, three no crits. Kidding. Okay, I'm going to start off by parrying two of the crits. Okay. And, uh, let me think. If I just hit you for a crit right now, that would injure you. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit you for a crit. Okay, sounds good. How much damage was that? Four. Four, okay. And we'll have the assassin to All finish right. him off. Then he's uh, my now. four goes through as well. Yep. So he's down to two. Okay. Okay. Um, I've got a tactical shipping. Mm -hmm. I believe if I attack and don't kill. No, it's if somebody attacks. Oh, and if somebody kill attacks you. me. Yeah. Roger that. It's the other way around. Yep. Okay. So he's good. Okay. So we got an easy kill lined up there. Um, I think what we need to do now is try and ice a guy up here. So just trying to think where my medic could go. So if I were to get my medic right here. She scrambled. Let me let me just open this up. So I still want to be within three of. Actually, it doesn't matter. He's not getting charged. Okay, maybe it doesn't matter. So maybe she just goes within three right here. Oh, 
Okay, Medic's gonna scramble across the terrain and go there. Okay. And then Crack Grenade will move up, throw a grenade down onto one of these people. And he's got two rerolls on his crack. Okay, grenade. this medic is going to move within four of your homie here and shoot him. The assassin? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, she's in melee. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, yeah, of course. That's your whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my head needs to be able to see you. Here we go. Okay, shotgun's out. Uh -huh. um, hitting on threes with the reroll. Sounds good. Oh, don't pick them all up, silly. Uh, yuck. All right, three hits. Uh, so oh, didn't mean to reroll out. Sorry. Okay. Uh, you're ignoring my cover, so I just have my five up invulnerable save. Okay. Uh, which she fails all of that. Uh, she is within range of the Electromeister, so I can reroll one of my defense dice for free. Okay, she does save that. Eight uh, damage. Yeah. So, so far. Yeah, so... Okay, I'm not going to spend any CP to reroll anything. Um, so one of those hits becomes two because I'm standing on an objective, so it becomes six damage, and then she's got a six-up feel no pain. She fails all of it, so she's on two health. Roger that. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, we got a lot of dudes that are injured here now. Um, let's see, how do I want to get this? So you get no rerolls because you got the lumen right there. So I need to get rid of this guy. That's what I'm understanding. Okay. All right. So that's good to know. Um, so next... I'm going to have, okay, so you got shield, shield, and you got that guy right there. Okay, so we could have Vayne walk up, and she's got indirect on her pistol. So we have one. Okay, so she could move there and shoot your Malicator. So I'm going to do that. And I believe because I'm not within six of your lumen here, I do mm -hmm. get a reroll. Because I know you're within two of her, but I think I have to also be within six of the lumen. Yep, yeah, you're outside of the range over here too. Okay, so we'll do that. So we're, we're going to fire her Archaeotype pistols or Archaeotech. Um, so we get four shots and one reroll. Um... And then what's the profile on this? So this is uh, P145 indirect. Uh, so we just get four hits. Okay. And so that, that P1 didn't trigger, so it's still three dice? Yeah. Kind of. Okay. I'll main. Uh, hold on. Go ahead. Be before you roll, I'm debating if I mm -hmm. want to reroll. Ah, it's like we'd just be fishing for a six. No. I'm going to I'm gonna stick with just my four hits. Okay. I'm going to maintain cover there. Sounds good. And save one more. So I save two. Okay, so that would kill him. Because uh, it's four five. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, and then, so I that was a free shoot action. So she can still dash if I wanted. So I think that's what we'll do. She's just going to dash back. Um, probably to right there. Okay. All right. Back to you.
Fane's a bit exposed there for sure. Um, she's on the objective though, so we're, okay. we're still we're still uh, having damage. This... Oh, let's see here. I want to kill this medic. Um, my medics moved this way, so my death cult assassin is kind of in danger. Um, if he gets two hits off. So I've got a free parry. And he is injured. So he's hitting on fives with four attacks. So it's a gamble. Oh, I'm injured too, though. I Shit, I, I did move myself out of my injury. Well, aura. you know, I don't use grenades very often, but I think I might right now. Sure. So I'm going to move up and uh, hit this guy with a grenade, I think. Okay. Is that a crack grenade? Um, That was a frag, I believe, frag. is what I brought. Okay. So I should live through that. I've got care base armor. Yeah. Right, because I brought uh, five and then two and then that was the three one no the three is the crag right yeah it was crag excuse me it's crag okay yeah yeah now... it's like the the, the picture is the exact same so it's hard to say okay. and it doesn't come up when you hover over it with the set yet yeah well i the uh, you said you can't fire the laser at all this turn is that correct i can't fire the laser profile i've still got god that Shield one cluster bomb that i could use gross so it's like i might get this kill but you're definitely gonna take me out i don't know if that's worth it really might be a move for next turn to be honest if we're being honest oh sorry i got somebody at the door i'll be you're fine right back yeah no worries I'm gonna I'm gonna fill up my tea. Um, I'm back. Sorry, if if you don't mind, can you give me like uh, a minute or two? I got a guy coming in and repairing my window after an earthquake. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I just got to yeah. chat with him for a little bit. No problem. I'll be here.
Okay, I'm back. Oh, all right, sounds good. Um, so I am going to move up and throw that grenade because I forget that he was the target of my elimination. So it's really a good idea to try and do that. Sounds good. Oh, I need that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And you're going to toss the crack into him? I am indeed. That's good. All right. Three up, AP1, four, five. No rerolls because he's not within four. That's nice. Good stuff. Okay, so there is a slim chance that I could survive this. Um, so, so we would pass. Okay, let me just do some mental math in my head. So, let's say I saved both of these. I would take ten damage. One of which would be half, so we would take eight damage, which would still kill me. So I would have to CP reroll to get two sixes. Yeah, it's just not worth it. All right, he, he dies. Okay. So that is eliminate guards. Okay, sounds good. And it should be route as well, because you're within. Uh, yeah. you you have to be within six for route. Friendly operators. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I would have had to get all the way in there. Okay, yeah. no worries. Okay. I'll get it later, hopefully. Fair enough. I want that guy to die. So we have support and assets. Uh, I mean, we just got out in the open pool. to be killed. Which I think is the play. All right. So my Gatling gun's going to dash up, actually, to right there. So that gets him within six inches of my anti injury aura. And then we're going to shoot your castigator. Sounds good. Um, and his gun is relentless, so we can reroll. Okay, so we got three hits and a crit. Goodness. Whoops, sorry. Oh, I don't know why that is. It's okay. There we go. All right, I don't think there's much I can do here. He saves on fours. Yep. He does have a Has... six up feel no pain, also. Yeah, we'll see. Oof. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's going to be 10 damage, which, I mean, if you just have to roll four sixes, you could you could live. You could also CP reroll one. That's true. See if I can get it. So right now it's how much damage, I'm sure, with, with the three? If, okay, so assuming you, you stop that, it's going to be 10 damage. 10 is where we're at right now. Okay, yep. if I just stop one more. That um, will change it to seven which is pretty oh. doable on a six up field. No <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Let's check our luck. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. that was... If you roll a six, uh, you'll, you're guaranteed to survive. So, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Ugh, I don't know why it's taking that dice. Okay. Here we go. Rolling. <laughs> oh my six. God. There you guys. All right. So he takes six. Damage. Nice. Okay. And I'll roll my six dice. And stop Save two, two, take four. Nice. That Pretty does good. not suck. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm still not really certain how I want to handle this mess over here. Do... Odds are, I should be able to kill this guy. However, because... Um... Because I'm so okay. injured, um, things can exactent go really poorly. He's just going to move up to here, uh -huh. and then he's going to use an AP to move the token. Sure. And he's just going to really 
really get that right all over that. And pass. Okay. So we could investigate motive force. And then... Okay. So if we invest... Or invest... Um, will I, would I need to move the proctor or whatever proctor out of the way of this door a little more if to allow someone to, move... to, no, you, okay. you've, you've got the angle to move through over here. Okay. Roger that. Thank you. Yep. Okay. So we could do that. God, I'm so hesitant on this, man. I'll tell you. Ugh. If he rolls a hit and a crit or two hits, I die. So this this has the potential to go really poorly for me. But I think I think I'm going to do it. I I really am hesitant on doing this, but the assassin's going to fight this guy. Okay. Defensive profile. So you are hitting on fives. Mm -hmm. I'm hitting on twos because I'm getting combat support. Um, okay, so we get three hits and a crit. Please, please don't get... Nope, oh, wrong box. Yep. <laughs> Just needs to um, get two so I only here. need to get one single hit. Well, I, I do have a parry before the fight starts. Oh, okay, so I need to get two, yeah. Yep. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, hold on, hold okay. on, I might reroll. Fair enough. Oh, please, please don't get this. Five ups. I mean, it's basically... It's winter. It's, yeah, fatal or not. Okay, I'll spin it. Let's go. No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, uh, so we'll parry out that hit and I'll kill him. Roger that. Oh, my God. That was, that was nerve-wracking. Um... And then what she's going to then do is I'm going to fire my dart profile into the uh, Churrigan. Yeah. Um, so this will be four attacks. Um, well, hold on. Uh, that's my medic. I can res that guy. Uh, I think he died in melee, though, so he can't he can't be resed. Uh, is it the the medic that can't be in melee range? I think it's just the medic that can't be engaged. I think can, I, can I double check? Yeah, yeah, by all means. I've got I've got a PDF over here too. You're probably right. Yeah, the, I've got the PDF down here. Uh, Churgant. Visible to and not within engagement range of an enemy operative. There you go. Cannot oh, that's the cascader. Jurgens. If Yep. So that puts that guy down. I did miss all of my dart attacks. So <laughs> Hilarious enough. I just needed to trigger the uh, the shoot yeah, action. Yeah, yeah, it definitely like... reads that neither one of us, the medic or the target, can be within engagement. Okay. Um, so I missed all of my attacks, but because of lethal proximity, I do get to reroll one shot, uh, which is a crit. Um, so that will stun you, and then one critical hit for one damage, no AP. Okay, and I are we within three? Oh, I didn't. Uh, that that wasn't on my roll. Sorry, I hit arc to get the range. It's all good. Yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not within within range to ignore your cover, so you can just take the cover on this. Oh, okay. Then I'm rolling two dice. Yep. Okay. Oh, yuck. Okay. Okay. So it's two damage. You said just one, but it is okay. stun. So they they take the take the stun. All right, over to you. All right. Well, that was not ideal, but that's the way the game goes. Okay. 
Ooh. Oh, and I've I've still got uh, one. Let's see. I shot. So I could, what I could do now is we could move. So I think what she's gonna do is she's gonna go just outside of one inch. To, right mm -hmm. to block block that quarter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we'll do investigate for free, and then we'll move over and shoot this guy. I think that's going to be the plan. Because now I can spend one CP for the combined arms. Yeah, combined arms gives me relentless, so we'll act. Oh, hold on. What's up? Uh, I do not want to be within two of you. So we'll go there. Okay. Almost just nuked my assassin with this guy. <laughs> All right. Over to you. Yep. I'm going to move. So now we'll do combined arms. This guy will just move Six over to here. nuke the uh, Turgent. Because we should get two crits. Get visual on my buddy here and pass one in API. Ray P. Okay, so this guy's got three APL now. Oh, Him this guy's here. got three APL. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's gonna move dash tap. Would be my guess. Okay. Um. All right. So my electromeister is going to investigate this objective for free. And then he's going to flip to engage. I'm going to activate his uh, voltgeist charge which is zero AP now. And then he's going to move, I think to this point gets me the angle here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna move here and I'll shoot the Churgant. Um, I'll spend one CP for combined arms. So because I've shot her, um, I get relentless on my attacks. Um, and then the Voltgeist charge makes his gun lethal four up. So- um, Very nice. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Um, and I get to lots of crits. Roll. Okay, so that's four mortal wounds and then four <laughs> crits. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's no AP, so you, you do get three. Oh, you're taking. I was I was taking cover, yeah. So that's only two saves. So it's a lot of crits to go through. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. I'm done. Yep. Yep. All right. So that's him done. And then. We'll put Aximilian on the on the line so we can get secure center line. So we've knocked out about half the team so far. So I think we're just down to a bunch of shield guys. So yeah, I just I just don't want to get in melee with them. Is, is mostly the thing. This guy's on three health, so we'll probably drop a guided shell on him because that guy's pretty scary. But it's like after that, then we're just dealing with melee dudes. I think. Okay, now I'm seeing why people are bringing the shot pistol on these dudes, even if they suck. It would be nice to move like right here and just take a shot. True. It's interesting. Yeah, I mean, for one EP, it's like it's definitely uh, an option. I mean, even if you're hitting on fours, it's like it's still three three, so it's like kind of like a shotgun for other other teams. If you th if you think about it from that context. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually don't hate the shot pistol. I think it's pretty pretty solid. I haven't figured this team out though, so it's and uh, secure is measured um, at the time of at the time you secure it, right? It's not the end, not at the end of the round. Sorry, what do you mean by that? So like, uh, it, I believe capture isn't tallied up until the end of the turning point, but but secure, yeah. like I could run up and take it, and as long as you don't take it back. Uh, I get to keep it. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think the best thing I can do is move up to within an inch of cover here on that center line. I don't know, you're just going to walk up and shoot me, but 
I don't know. There's not a whole lot more I can do about it. All right. So I'm on the center line, an inch from this light cover, hopefully an inch. That's my intention anyway. Sure. And I'm, I'm done. All right. So quick, just throw a grenade at this guy. I prefer not to because we're not getting any rerolls on him. Hmm. I don't think there's any way around that, though. Where would six inches be? We could definitely run up and shoot him with, with stuff and take him out. Um, okay. So I think this guy's going to move up to go right here. And flip to engage. And I'm going to throw a crack grenade at him. Okay. Um, I don't get rerolls because you're lumen. Mm -hmm. So it's just four shots with a crack grenade. Heading on threes. Three hits. AP one. AP one. I will keep the one. Okay. So and save two. two. Take four. Okay. The Void Master should be able to finish that guy off. Okay. Um. Okay. I think that the second guy. Actually, we might be able to just drop just a support move asset over, over guy. here. He's going that way. And be done. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna have the void master. Let me see where two inches is at. Okay. So if he were to go one, two, and then I have four inches left. Okay. So we can go there within two of you, and then he'll just shoot that guy. Okay, sounds um, good. So I've got my four four shotgun. Uh, that just kills him. I got three hits Ouch. and a crit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hitting on twos makes such a big difference with four four shotguns. Okay, over to you. Yep, last activation. Start with a dash, and then I'm going to go through the door and end up on the point, and then use my AP to capture it. Sounds good. So that goes to your control. I can't prevent that, so it is what it is. Okay. We will get secure center um, line. We've got motive force on one point. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just stay right there and try and use that bit of cover. Okay. Just kind of tuck in right there. Yep. All right. Um, so I'm going to draw a line of sight from Vane and drop a support asset on the Castigator. So we'll do the uh, Guided Shell. Um, so we got one crit and one hit. Um, I think I'm going to spend a CP reroll here. Oh, it still misses. Okay. So just a crit and a hit. No AP. You, uh, but we are negating cover because you're on the, you're, you don't have a roof. Mm -hmm. It's only one save. Yep. So five damage through. Okay. Five damage goes through. Okay. The round two slaughter of RBDs. Every time. Yep. Um, I don't think I have anyone on engage who can overwatch. 
Who's okay. still alive? Um, I just have my dog. So we're just gonna have the dog activate and we'll just move to go right here so I can be on center line. Yep, good job. I think that's gonna be it. Okay, that's it. So I got four points. Yep. I just get two primary. I'll get recover and center line. And uh, I think we go into the next turn, turn three. That sounds good. Save positions, ready operatives. Okay. Um, all right. Roll to see who goes first. Oh. Okay. Do you want first or second turn? First. Um, and so as far as tack ops go, I don't think we need lethal proxy. You know, one thing I really dislike is that you can't activate ex execution order mid turn. I think that that was it's either a miss, <laughs> uh, an accident, or it's some bullshit. Because oh, it's gotta I, be when he's activated. I I hate that it, you can't move. And then activate it. That's just so, it's so dumb. Yeah. It's like if you're going to make it line of sight as opposed to visible. Yeah. And then like you have to make it that from their starting position. It's yeah. like you, you would already be vulnerable. I, I don't know. I, I really don't like it. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, it makes it so that it's basically never going to get used. That's actually way more restrictive. Than In my initial. opinion. I mean. Yeah, I no I. Trust me, man. I want this team to be good so bad. Yeah, me too. I mean, and that's so that's like one thing that I would change. That would that would yeah. Like, cause cause right now I'd be able to like just walk out here and use that on you, and then mm -hmm. and then fight you. Yep. And it, but it's just not gonna happen. Yep. I believe I should use the uh, s extra save when I'm on a defense point. Extra save which, on the defense point. Okay. Which is in violate jurisdiction. Okay. I'm going to go same thing, undaunted explorers. I think we need new frontiers. And I'm out of CP. As much as I want lethal proximity. So, I pass. Okay. Um, give me one minute. Mm -hmm. There. We go two inches there. Two. Okay, so I do have the movement for that. Um, so if that's the case, I will go lethal proximity for one CP. So same same as uh last turn. So re-roll within six. Okay, sounds good. I pass again, and you're out of CP, so it's okay. my turn. All right. Um, I'm gonna ops. have the yes tech ops. I do not have any to reveal. Uh, eliminate guards. Oh yes, I have to choose. I'm gonna choose your boss. Yeah, makes sense. Thank you for pointing that out. Mm -hmm. In my head, it was just a foregone conclusion, but I need to say it out loud. <laughs> true, true, true. So we can use the digital lasers, or lasers in melee. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so now I'm good to go. Yep. Okay, so Proctor is gonna charge. Sounds good. And, you know, it doesn't really matter if I'm in cover. We could drop I don't really think that, bomb on these guys. I mean, it doesn't matter. The, the little nubbin behind the, sure. the barricade probably well, doesn't count, but it who does. knows. Okay, good. Uh, well, then I'm going to attack. Okay. Oh. Four attacks. Uh, let's see. So okay, I'm going to do three hits. Off I'm going to do offensive profile. Okay. Uh, so that's lethal five up stun. Pretty good. Uh, of course, no fives. Yep. So you get three um, hits as well. Yeah. Um, well, I got to kill you, so I'm going to strike you for four. Okay. Um, let me just work out how this goes. Hold on. So before before you make your decision on your attack, let's let's see how the, how this would play out. So if you were to hit me for four, I would half the damage to two. Um, I would then parry out this hit 
and then you would hit no. me for four again, and I would live, and I would have two attacks remaining. Um. So. So what happened? It's a game. It's a game about rolling sixes. Yep. Um, I would have loved. I, all I needed was a five or six, and I could have auto parried one and struck. Yeah. Okay, so with that knowledge, is do you still want to go through with what you, with the hit? Well, so you no. Know, well, so I didn't. I didn't do defensive profile, so I sure. I don't have a choice. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um. So you hit me. I parry your attack. Mm-hmm. And then this is this is damage three. I my power weapon's not a four six power weapon, so it is something to keep in mind. Um. So you can either yeah. choose to. Um, so you're going to do six and I'm going to do six. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. All right. And I also take six. So I'm on two health. Um, I think Vane needs to get the fuck out of dodge now. Um, so I think she's going to fall back into the injury aura. So I want to be within six of the uh, this guy. Whoops, sorry. This guy right here. So she will fall back to go here. Um, the Proctor has the um, the Lumen also. I don't know if you're doing that because of the Lumen. No, I'm, I'm falling back just so I can shoot you. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so she falls back, but she can do a free uh, fighter shoot action when she activates. So she's going to shoot this guy with her indirect pistols. Okay. Uh, so that means no no cover. Oh, you get cover, but I I just can shoot you while you're concealed. Is all okay. that means. Um, so and I get a reroll on it. But go ahead. Yep. Oh yuck. Ooh yikes. Let's roll. Okay, that just kills him because uh, yeah. that goes to P one. Oops, sorry, that doesn't make it a crit, but that does make it AP one. Okay, so he's rolling two die. He's rolling two die. Um, yeah, but I, I don't think he can survive this because it's four five. Oh, okay, oh, right. Hold on a sec. Okay, so that's that's a save, but. Net twelve damage.
All right. Sorry about that. No problem. No problem. All right. Oh, so. Um, when am I working? Uh, so that guy, that guy just dies. Yes. Okay. He did. Um. All right, and then that's all she can do for her activation. Oh, well, probably just laser that guy. It honest. was a lot. Yeah. Or may, I don't know. Yeah, boy, that was a a, a three point swing. Me not rolling a five. Yeah, that's no rough. Kidding. Yeah, I would have scored all three of my attacks. Just with one kill. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, you know, that's just the way it goes. That's true. Um, I'm going to activate the this dude here. He's going to run up, switch, and take a shot. And it's going to be a shitty shot. Okay, so you're doing the long range profile? I am. Sounds good. But it's worth points, so I got to do it. Fair enough. Five ups, two damage. And so what's you get to half the first one every time? No, no, no. That's only on objectives. She's oh, okay. she's stark out in the open, so Okay, so you do All get right. one crit, so this could kill her if I don't get a critical save here. Um okay, we do stop it though, because I've got a four up in vol, so we'll mm -hmm. stop the two. Yeah. That's just the way it goes. Your turn. Okay, um, so let's see. I'm on zero CP. Okay, so there's no way I'm taking that objective from you. Um, you do have this guy still. Um, I'm going to activate my Electro Priest. Uh, and he's going to activate his Voltgeist field. So if you move within two inches of him, you take D6 mortal wounds. Um, and he's going to go two and one. Actually, I think I only needed to go one. So we go one inch there, one inch there, and one inch there. And then I should be in range to go... Two and then four. Yep. All right. So we'll go to there, and um, it doesn't really matter if I'm on engage or so. We'll just keep him on engage, and then he's going to investigate motive force. Nice on that objective. Um. So I am finished with that attack op. Okay. Sweet. Over mm -hmm. to you. So I don't care if this guy dies now. It's not a big deal. In fact, if my assassin dies this turn too, it's also not a good Well, deal. you might as well charge. Okay. So he's going to be on center line. Surprised he didn't end this guy on center line. But I guess he got a lot of people to still activate. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Fair enough. I, I might not have had the movement for it though. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not. You don't need to nitpick. Yeah. Um, let's see. So if... If, uh, if you're in both... engagement range, you have to fight the dog. Okay. Of the dog. Yes. Okay. Well, then I'll be on center line and engagement of both. Okay. Just for funsies. And I right. will, I guess, fight a dog. Sounds good. Sad, as sad as that sounds. Kill my dog. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Um, I'll just do attack profile, but it's not lethal. Okay. Um, so we do get two crits and a hit, because I got plus okay. one for combat support, but I am yeah. injured. I'll just strike you and kill you. Yeah, sounds good. He was a good boy. He was a good boy. He got his he got his objectives. Yep. All right. Um. That's probably a bit too much for my assassin to fight at two health, because uh, that guy is big, meaty, and scary. So I think what we'll do. You've got no other activations, right? Okay, so if I... <laughs> nah. ran, ran out of bodies. Yeah. Sorry to drive that knife in. It um, happens. You do have Overwatch on Vayne, so... Not from my boss. He doesn't have a gun. Oh, he doesn't have a gun. But, okay. uh, yeah, you I'm going to try and... I'm, I'm going to try and get sixes with this guy, but we'll see. Okay. So... 
Um, how do I want to handle this? Because we could we could shoot a laser here. We could have this guy shoot here. Um, this is the most potent threat, though. So I think what my assassin's going to do is she's going to fall back. Um, I'll fall back to here. And is that... Okay. Actually, she'll fall back over to here. Just get him out of the way. Um, so I'll put within... I'll, I'll make sure she's within two still. Um, and then she's going to uh, fire her dart gun into the uh, shield guy. Um, so I do get a crit, so that will stun you. And then we get two crits and no hits. And no AP. If I can just chip a wound off, that'd be great. Which is two exactly saves. All right, so just crit, one crit, hit. Crit in the normal. Okay. All right. Over to you. So you get a overwatch. Hell yeah, let's roll some sixes. I mean... Let's go! There it is. I got one. All right. So I need to get a critical <laughs> save now or else I'm just dead. Yeah. Which that kills her and I can't reroll. Yep. So she dies. Wow, that's exciting. Uh, let's see. So I can't score Route or Rab and Ransack, but I can score Eliminate Guard. Yes. Okay. I could have fired right, her up. last turn and killed him, but... Can't, I can't drive the knife home that deep, man. That's that's. I think that's just cruel. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can get. So if I were to shoot there. Oh yeah, we're you're well within two. Okay, so he's gonna dash out. Am I? That does put me within six, though. Is there is there a way we can dash out and not be within six? Yeah, because you only need a sliver, right? Because I'm not concealed. Oh, that's true. Um, I'm going to hold off on that, though, because I need to put the medic into position first. So I think she's okay. actually going to do her job and heal. <laughs> so I don't have to constantly position. So she'll move over and heal him. So it's uh, D3 plus 3. Cool. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Her heal's really good. Whoops. Get in there. Okay, so heals for 5. So he's back up to full health. Okay. There we go. And you don't have any overwatch, so I think we just dash out to the edge right here and shoot. And we'll be out of six so I can get my rerolls in. Sounds good. All right, six shots. Oh, my God. This guy's just been on fire this game. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, four hits in the... I, I, think it's impossible to survive that mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and then we'll have the void master run up let's see yeah yeah he'll just run up and tap that you already have it right no no I just oh no you I, you I captured it right yeah uh then you probably want to be on the center line but you got plenty of guys um, left to do it yeah i definitely thank you for reminding me that mm -hmm. so we'll do that he'll just now uh, we'll stay engaged. And then um, lastly, uh, this guy's going to um, – actually, before we do that, we'll fire a laser into the exactant. Tina, can you use the laser as many times per turn as you can or want? Or did you already fire once at this guy? This turn? I, I, no, I, I thought so. No, uh, I guess that was. I use, I last turn I used the guided shell. I thought I thought there was maybe it was your boss that shot this guy. Yeah, it was. Yes. Yeah. 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 Vane yeah. Vane killed that guy. Okay. Yep. That uh, was the only other guy that died. Yep. You're right. So we shoot the exactant. Um, two crits. Okay. Which, yeah, that just kills him because it's AP two. Okay. Um, and then this guy's going to activate, move six inches up, and then I'm going to shoot a las gun at the fox. Sounds good. If I can get my dice in there. Come on, dice. Okay, one critical hit, and then damage is three. Okay, he's dead. 
No, no, no. Oh, no, you Jesus. just take <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all right. <laughs> this is this is just a normal laser. It's all right. Um, um, that's it. Okay. So we both score three. Um, nice job, then, man. I'm going to concede now because there's yeah, no point that's, in that's doing fair. another round. But, but good game, bud. Yeah, man. Um, I think uh, Star Striders are just a straight-up really, really strong team. Like probably one of the best teams in the game, so it's 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 a rough matchup for anybody. Um, but I mean, then then this team, uh, I think they just need some buffs, honestly. Yeah, I don't know if there was a way to make that turn two any better for me. Sure, because I had I I was like I had a great line of cover, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I, and then I started to push to engage, mm -hmm. and that's when I, that's when everything kind of broke down, and I just got started getting shot by everybody. Yeah, um, I'm still trying to figure out. It seems like turn two is when this team really falls apart. Like turn one, you're moving up, everything's fine. But yep. like turn one, I turn one, I lost both my gunners, so True. my range was completely gone for this whole turn, which was which basically was your whole uh, win condition, right? I mean, like as soon as yeah. you get rid of my range threat, you win. Yeah, and that that's, I mean, I I actually talked about that um, during the stream, like in in the beginning of the game, I was I was saying exactly what you said, like okay, I want to be killing the gunner and the sniper as soon as I can. Yeah. Um, because once, yeah, exactly what you said. Because once you did that, I can kind of just control you and try to stay out of melee. Yeah, it's hard. Um, it is. Well, I'm definitely going to be facing, you know, your your team uh, going forward. So I need as much practice as I can get. Yeah, yeah. These guys, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Are are Striders a popular team? I, oh yeah, they're they're pretty high on the tournament circuit they? right now. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm all the way in Japan, so I'm. I'm everything's hearsay for me so i don't really know like what what people are playing but um yeah, yeah. they're 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 a really really strong team yeah i mean like the as far as range goes they're they're crazy effective yep and then have the extra basically like point and you're dead to use once per turn yep yep yeah that's why i i suspect this is going to get nerfed um i i think it'll probably go back to bs4 but we'll, when, we'll see. When, yeah. When did their box release? How long have they been around? Star Striders uh, have been around since the old version of Kill Team. Okay. Um, they're, they came, they're not a compendium team, though, are they? They are a... Uh, yeah, they are a compendium. They're the they're the new compendium team. Oh, okay. Um, so, th yeah, yeah, they've so, had a refresh. Yeah. So, if you, if you really want to be honest, like, their, their rules... Uh, this team came out in October... Oh, okay. But okay. So, um, yeah. they weren't a popular team at the time because um, their their support assets being Ballistic Skill 4 made them... I'm not going to say it made them a bad team because I actually think the team was really strong back then, but it, it made it so mistakes or bad dice rolls could really swing the game and make it really hard for you to... Um, for you to kill like specifically elites so i don't i don't think a lot of people use them because of that mm -hmm. makes sense yeah but um yeah i mean i i think um i think maybe you could have you could have had like one or two more shotgun guys on the team i'm, I'm not sure i mean the shield guys are really good yeah, so my breakdown right now is five front line, mm -hmm. um, and then I think I have four mid range, and then two out, uh, on the outside. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. Yeah, so against against a ranged heavy team like yours, like maybe bringing the shotgun leader would have been a better call. Mm. Um, mainly because that that really came up. Like I was outside of range effectively for turn two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the castigators so so, but he got a kill with the crack grenade. That was he cool. Did. Yeah, yeah, I, I think he did fine. Um, yeah, it's just you—you you had some pretty unlucky rolls with the with the melee fights too, because the, there were specifically two fights that, if they had gone your way, could have really swung things. Because you mm -hmm. had you had the fight over here where if, if you had just gotten another hit, my assassin dies. 
Yeah. Um, and then you could have paid one CP to immediately fight the dog and kill the dog. Um, so you could have that could have gone so badly for me over here. Right, and that would have stopped you from scoring the second yep. uh, item collection point too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. And then and then Vane uh, not dying to your leader also. Was yeah. A really big That's swing. Three point swing there. <laughs> well, I ended up scoring the one point, but yeah. 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 So uh, the first round turning point. Um, just trying to think. I guess it was the second round where I spent a bunch of CP. So I did mm -hmm. the, the the no cover shot and then the reroll. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like the reroll helped me at all on my shots. Yeah, I I don't mind the reroll because I think even even if you are shooting like a single shotgun, if you think of it from the context of you're either going to be spending a command point on a reroll or using this strategy, I think it's worth doing. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the uh, the four inch reveal thing is way overhyped. For sure. Like a lot of people say like how amazing it is and don't get me wrong. Like it's not a bad tack op, but, or it's not a bad stratagem, but my, my thought process going into it is if you're going within four inches of somebody, you're probably, you probably have the movement just to make it the extra two. Um, there, there are situations where that, that's not true. Like with, with your guy, if you had a shotgun, like you could have shot me here, but that's just kind of where I, what I'm thinking. Well, yeah, and I, I ended up being CP starved too, yeah. so that, that I probably would have helped with one more extra reroll to yeah. try and win one of those combats that I didn't win. Yeah, I think um, something that this team or something that people are not ever talking about. Whoops, I just it's look. okay. Oh, that's, yeah, uh, it it does <laughs> it does suck. I agree. Uh, let me let me bring that back up. Oh no, it's right here. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We can just do the the things right, right there. Here. I can't see that because I think it's saved your local. Uh... It is saved. I didn't know if it if it wouldn't load for you. Yeah, yeah. Unless it gets put up on the cloud, like I can't I can't see it. Um, oh, okay. But it's all right. Um, can you see this one? Yep. Okay. Um, if you want to save this, like feel free or it's up to you. Anyways, um, I think the two strongest ploys are this one and this one. This team's two strongest ploys are these two. Um, so this is the exact punishment. So if somebody fights you and you survive, you could immediately fight. And then the brutal backup one is actually pretty nasty too. Because you can um, charge in and fight. And if you have somebody supporting, you pay one CP and that person immediately fights after you fight. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's really cool. I, I really like yeah. that. I was trying to trigger it, but you yeah. you were you were back here and I was up here. Yeah. <laughs> and so like... Uh... I was, against a team of ranged shooters, I just I I couldn't close the gap. Yeah. Yeah, I did not want to be in melee with you. I knew the assassin like because she's got the the parry before the fight. Like she's actually okay with going into the shields, but no one mm -hmm. else on my team wants to be anywhere near those guys. Yep. Well, you did a good job. Yeah. But. Yep. Anyways, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some lunch now. But um, thanks a lot for the game. Yeah, okay. sounds good. Okay. Same to you. We'll yep. see you next time. Yep. See you. Bye. So closing thoughts before I go get lunch. Um, it's 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 a rough matchup. I think um, most of the most of the points that I wanted to talk about we kind of discussed together, but uh, I think probably one or two less shield guys could have could have benefited him. Um, I think I don't know if this would have been a huge. Uh, a huge difference in the game but i think if he had chosen blue side he wouldn't have had to worry about my vantage ploy or my vantage strategies but um i didn't end up using vantage at all this game uh we just threatened it but he was able to shut that down which thankfully because had i got a guided shell off onto that clumped group of guys i mean that that probably kills his medic and the two shield guys so it's a good thing that he got that um this team needs a buff it's straight up like they're not a good team i think you can win games with them i don't i don't think they're so bad that it's impossible to win games with the team but i don't expect this team to have even a even a remotely close to 50 percent win rate um i would i would probably put them around 30 yeah i would probably put them around 30 percent 
Um, my my initial take was Hyrotech Circle, and I would still probably put them around Hyrotech Circle. Maybe slightly better, just because they have more operatives and they they have more ability to do mission play, but still within that vicinity is is where i would put these guys because i mean every single game so i've showcased these guys twice on my channel now well three times including this game and i've this is my eighth game playing either as or against arbides and every single game the problem with the team has always come down to this, and it's their ability to deal damage. And as you can notice, like in this game, my opponent struggled killing stuff. And granted, I do have a damage reduction ability, a damn good damage reduction ability, which is horrible on damage for, uh, damage for profiles. Because usually it's like I'm taking like three or five damage, and it's like I'm just minusing like one or two. And so it's not that bad, but when you have damage four, it's like all of a sudden I'm cutting that damage in half. And um, it's like it really changes the math on 4 4 shotguns, for example, right? Because all of a sudden eight damage becomes six, which means my guys don't die. Um, but at the end of the day, like I still have basic humans who are seven, eight wound profiles, and they still struggle to put down those guys. Like, I only lost... I think I lost four operatives. I mean, a dog doesn't count. A dog always dies. But, like, besides the dog, I lost two Navis guys, which were suicide throwaway dudes. And I lost Vayne. And, I mean, Vayne always dies. Like, she she got two kills this game, so I can't really be upset about her dying. Um, so, it's it's just like... A lot of people talk on Discord about how good 4-4 shotguns are and how powerful those two stratagems are with, like, uh, guilt reveals or, like, sin reveals itself or whatever. And uh, I don't know, whatever their version of lethal proximity is, the 4-inch range shoot, right? Um, the problem is shotguns are not a good primary damage dealer. Believe me when I say this, I love 4-4 shotguns. I think 4-4 shotguns are really powerful. But when they're your primary source of damage, you will not kill stuff. You will not kill stuff. Okay? It's, it's just the reality of things. Um, every single team that runs shotguns outside of Arbides has multiple avenues in which they can deal out damage i mean worm blade is uh dealing damage with their cult agents and heavy gunners and gunners and their leader like they have so many operatives on that team that are lethal that's like by the time you get down to using your three three shotguns it's like a like it's an afterthought and they have cult ambush which really really helps with their shotguns but whatever these guys can hit on with all four of their shotgun shots too but it's like by the time you're shooting your shotgun it's like oh wow hey huh. oh, you know i did six damage to a guy well that's cool you know it's like it doesn't matter right um navy breachers same thing right you have your grenadier you have your gunners you have your power weapon guys you have all these other ways to deal a ton of damage and then at the end of the day, it's like, then your Breacher's running up with his with his 3-3 shotgun. And it's like, oh, cool, I got a kill. <laughs> oh, that's fun. You know, um, Crute. <laughs> it's the same thing with Crute. Crute have all their weapons. They have their melee operatives, whatever. And then, like, a random Crute warrior will come up and shoot a shotgun. And it's like, oh, I got a kill. You know, it's like all these other teams have ways to deal damage. And then you get to Arbides, who their gunners are just terrible. They're absolutely terrible to the point where... Like, there's actually discussion online right now about not even taking any of the gunners, including the grenade launcher. Which, I'm starting to come around and warm up to the idea of that. I actually don't think the grenade launcher is very good. Um, and the heavy stubber's a joke. The Weber's a joke. Like, why would I replace a 4-4 shotgun with a Weber? Unless I'm specifically going after the stun against, like, Geller Pox, right? I, I do agree. It does have a niche. Um... But that is literally all the team has. Like, your your leader doesn't even get, like, a plasma pistol or anything. Uh, there's just no AP whatsoever. Like, get the Kraken grenade launcher, like, barely even count. Um, 
And, you know, people talk about elites when it comes to armor penetration. I think that's that's the first thing people think about when they think of armor penetration. Which, fair enough, right? You really need AP in order to kill elites. But people don't talk about AP in terms of killing hordes. You know what I mean? So when it comes to killing hordes, and what I mean by hordes, I mean like human profile, 7 wound, 5 up save. Uh, and doubly so for like 8 eight wounds, 4 up save, like Eldar profile. When it comes to like human and Eldar profiles, it it's not a guarantee that you're killing them with a shotgun, right? They could very easily just roll two fives and shut off the damage and all of a sudden take four damage. You know what I mean? Or pass all of their saves. A five-up save, it's not unreasonable for someone to pass two or three five-up saves. That's something that can happen more often than you would think. Having that AP1 changes the math. When, you, when you're having something that is like damage 4 and it's AP 1, all of a sudden you're hitting a break point where it's like, I don't care what my opponent rolls. If I get 4 hits with an AP 1 gun that is damage 4, it is killing a 7 wound or 8 wound model no matter what. And that's the real break point that you want. Okay, You don't want break points where it's like, well if my opponent fails to save, I'll do 8 damage, her der. You know, that's great for a secondary gun. Like like I was saying, shotguns are typically have the role for other teams. That's great for a secondary gun. Because that's, that's unforeseen damage, right? But when your primary damage source is shotguns, your opponent's going to go, okay, so all I have to do is pass these saves and not die? Fine. Boom. Oh, look, I got two fives and a six. Huh. You know, it's like that's what happened to me when I was running the Arbides versus the Gellerpox game right i'm sitting here thinking about oh shit well okay these shotguns might not be terrible and in, in the matchup against the nightmare hulks um when they're when they're doing their feel no pain it's like okay well you know if we can if we can push like 12 to 16 damage in with the feel no pain like we're killing a nightmare hulk with just one shotgun right well no 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 they can still pass armor saves they have five up armor saves twice that game that happened to me where my opponent rolled two fives and a six and just shut off 12 damage without even rolling feel no pains. That's the problem this team has, is they don't have other damage sources other than their shotguns. The melee profiles don't count, again, because they're not consistent, right? They're weapon skill four. So realistically, you're getting like one or two hits, sometimes three hits with your melee profile guy. And you're often spending most of those hits parrying out stuff so you don't die. Because your guy's only seven wounds. Like, realistically, against anything other than another basic melee person, they're killing him in two hits. So, it's like you start seeing these little cracks in the reason why this team is bad. Okay? With all of that being said, I think this team is probably the easiest team in the game to buff. Because... You don't need to change their attack ops. You don't need to change their strategies. You don't need to change the profile on um, on the operatives themselves. All you would have to do is make the sniper 4-4, four, four, mortal wound 2. Make him ballistic skill 2. Make the pistol guy 3-3, three, three, mortal wound 2. <coughs> make the... Um, Probably I would make the Gunners BS3, but I, I, I think that's an optional thing. I, I don't think that is necessary, um, but it would help. Sorry, we got like a emergency car going by. Anyways, <sighs> um, I think that would help, and it would give it would give players an incentive to actually take the um, the Gunners. I would give the uh, shield guys weapon skill three. Um, however, I could see argument for those guys being too strong at weapon skill three, which I think is a reasonable argument. So maybe what they could do instead is make their power mall uh, weapon skill three and lethal five. And then that would give you an actual incentive to use the power mall over the shield, right? I think, I think that's reasonable. Make the shield weapon skill 4, parry twice, strike first, or the power mall weapon skill 3. Um, 
uh, weapon skill three, lethal five. Because then it's like, okay, if I'm charging into this guy, he's still hitting on fours. So I, th I think that's fine. Um, what else? What else would I do? I think if those changes were implemented, the team would be a upper tier mid team. I don't, I don't think these guys have the capability of being an S tier team. Um, just because they can't deal with elites. They, they have zero options into elites. This team would, I've, I've witnessed it. They, they just get train wrecked by legionnaires and, uh, probably the same with intercession. Um, and because they have no way to deal with that, they're going to, they're going to be in like the crude scenario where it's like the only, the only reason crude aren't S tier is because they can't deal with elites. Um, so they kind of get knocked down to like upper B or like A tier. Uh, where I think if these guys had those options implemented, that's where they would be. They would probably be at the same power level as Crew, which I think is a fine power level to be at. Like not every team needs to be S tier. Uh, like A tier is perfectly capable of winning tournaments, uh, can be piloted by a, a competent player and winning games. So yeah, A, a tier is a -tiers, totally a fine place to be, but they need those implements. Um, I think if you were to take it like an extra step further, I would probably tweak uh, the the rover operative, the the cyber dog. Uh, that thing sucks, man. It's terrible. It's so bad. It's by far the worst dog in the game. Uh, they didn't give it an intercept, which is really weird because it's the only dog in the game that doesn't have the loyal companion ability. Uh, so you can't force fights onto it. Um, it's slower natively like yeah you can change the programming to give it uh eight inch movement but it, it as is it's a six inch profile uh it's weapon skill four for some reason and it's damage three five with no rending like that's a terrible profile like all the other dogs are very consistent they're all three four rending and then you get this dog which is like i'm weapon skill four three five it's like all right well what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> like, what is this killing? You know, um, you can give it relentless on its attacks, but if you do that, you lose out on your eight inch movement. It's like, what, what is this dog supposed to do? It can't perform pickup actions like any other dog. Um, what else can it do? Uh, obviously it can't do mission actions, but that's consistent with the other dogs. It's just like, it is, it is a terrible operative. <laughs> the only good thing is it does d3 mortal wounds uh when you uh when you charge somebody i think and not fight i think you have to not fight in order to do that but i could be misremembering um but the, the idea is you do d3 mortal wounds on the charge with it which is kind of cool uh the leash master i think they was another missed opportunity i think the leash master i mean this is too late for this change but i think he needed a shock ball like the castigator because then you have like a really cool combo of um, the dog charges in and does D3 mortal wounds. And then the leash master charges in because they, they get their like dual activation. They both activate at the same time and um, swap be between using actions. So the idea is this guy, the dog charges in, does D3 mortal wounds. Then the guy would have charged in and hit somebody with the shock maul, which, is, which would be damage four, right? Um, and you, at that point, you have a potential of one shotting a, uh, human at seven wounds, right? If you roll three mortal wounds with the, with the dog charge again, or you have, um, you have the potential of killing a, uh, 10 or 11 wound model. Um, you have the potential of killing a nine wound model. It's like there's a lot of break points that that hits if he had a shock maul, which I think would have been really cool. But he doesn't. He's got some wimpy ass baton that is like weaker than just punching him for some reason. <laughs> I, I do not understand why they're damaged 2 2. It makes no sense. Why, why would a beat stick be less painful than just punching a guy? Like we've established that fists are 2 3. So why why would a hardened beat stick <laughs> do less damage than than just punching the guy? It, it just doesn't make sense. Anyways, um, that's my rant. With all of that being said, 
I'm probably going to be playing some Arbides games um, because I really like the team and I want to I want to see if there's like some way to make the team yeah, in any way, shape, or form viable. Um, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be grinding out games. I'm still debating on what I want to do for the Command Point tournament. Um, I'm kind of in between uh, Star Striders and Hand of the Archon. Um, or Corsairs. I'm actually kind of looking at Corsairs too, because uh, the Command Point tournament is going to be into the dark and um, uh, open. It's going to be a mix. I don't know how many rounds. I, I have to check the details. But anyways, it's going to be mixed. So Corsairs are actually really good in mixed play. Um, not S tier. It's probably like low A tier, maybe B. But still, still like you can win games with them if you pilot them well. Um, Hand of the Archon is... Uh, a very easy team to play. I think the the skill floor for this team or for the for the team is very low. I think um, I would <laughs> if I were to categorize Hand of the Archon, I would call them the Nah Harlequins are the intercession of elf teams, but maybe like the Legionnaires of elf teams, um, in in the sense that like they're they're really easy to play. They're I, you've seen the term low cognitive load um, tossed around and then what that means is like it doesn't you don't have to think a lot when you're playing the team and uh, I definitely feel that way with hand of the archon they're they're a very low cognitive load team um, and I'm not trying to be like insulting when I say that but what I mean by that is all of the operatives on the team you understand exactly what their role is and exactly how to play with them just by playing like one game with them um you know that the bird guy is going to be kind of like a sniper guy but he doesn't want to be on advantage he wants to be kind of like over in the corner just making pot shots and stuff you know your heavy gunner is going to be dashing around on flanks uh trying to get uh shots with the uh splinter cannon you know your leader is going to be either uh move dashing up and um firing your pistol or you're going to be supporting people with your Kabbalite banner and trying to get three APL on objectives. You know, it's like you look at the operative and you figure out what you're going to be doing with that operative. It's very easy to play them, um, which in a tournament setting, it, there's a reason why people tend to gravitate towards low cognitive uh, teams because tournaments can be stressful. So it's easier to do the correct plays with a low cognitive team in a stressful environment than it is with a high cognitive team, right? So um, it doesn't necessarily mean the team's better or worse, but it's just two ways to approach the game. So um, yeah, Hand of the Archon is like a really, really easy to play team. Um, it's not like you can't make good plays with them, but uh, I think they're really fun to play, but I... I don't find them particularly interesting because they don't really have any jank. And what I mean by jank is not necessarily broken rules, but um, really interesting plays. You know, uh, that's that's one of the things that really attracts me to Star Striders is they have so many like interactive mechanics. Uh, they're very similar to Vet Garden that that aspect, where Vet Guard has like so many like moving parts on the team. Uh, Star Striders are exactly that. They're, you have to pay attention to uh, three separate auras that are all like vital to the team functioning. Um, you have to set up plays to keep your assassin protected. Um, you know, what do I mean by that? I, I'm getting on a tangent, but I, I want to talk about what I mean by that because, you know, I'm sure somebody will respond in the chat telling me that like Star Striders are an easy team to play. But, um,. Let me let me highlight something, right? Was this the map? I think this was the map. This was it, right? I think this was slightly Oh, you know we we played on uh straight, was it? Is it either straight or battleground. Anyways, Everyone always complains about how long my videos are, but I don't fucking care. <laughs> it's just the reality of things, man. I don't know. I don't know what map it is. But anyways, my, my point is, 
uh, let me let me load in some stuff and let me show you like if anyone says that I only win games on dice rolls I'm going to instantly show you why you are wrong I do roll well though all right so we've got something I want to highlight because this this literally happened last game was I have you I have you uh, and if you watch my uh, Legionnaires game where I played Star Striders versus Legionnaires and Into the Dark versus uh, Shane from Command Point, this also played into uh, into that game. So I had a corner uh, I'm trying to think of like a spot that we could we'll just we'll just do right here because this is this is easier to go. All right, so if if you were watching this game just now, so I had my dog positioned right here, and I it, it'd probably be more realistic if I had my assassin right here. So I had my dog right here and my assassin right here, okay? And he charged wanting to get in and fight my assassin, which most people do because she is the best person on my team. She's better than Vayne. She's better than the Heavy Gunner. She's better than the Electromeister. She's better than the Void Master. This assassin will kill anything she charges, assuming she rolls decently. And she's really, really tanky. She's got she's natively three APL. She's got a five up informable save. Just everything about her makes her the most powerful model on my team, right? But she needs support. She can't do things by herself. So what do I mean by that? So I usually position my dog around my assassin. And uh, what happened in this last game is he ends up charging, trying to get into my assassin. But because my dog's here, if my dog is in engagement range of an enemy combatant, they cannot fight this model. They have to fight the dog because of the loyal companion rule, right? So... What this ends up doing is it makes her really hard to charge, right? And I usually keep my medic, um, I usually keep my medic near her as well. So you're not killing her from shooting because she's got a five up and vulnerable save. She's almost, I almost always position her in cover. I'm usually on an objective. So she's going to be having damage going into her. She's got to feel no pain. She's eight wounds. And then if all of that breaks through, she's always going to be within three inches of this medic to get revived. And Star Striders revive at three health, which is another important thing, right? So I'm not going to be reviving at one health. So I'm going to be coming back at three health. So if you try and charge, I usually keep the dog nearby. So then they're forced to fight the dog. The dog's going to be hitting on twos now because it's getting combat support from the assassin. And this thing's actually pretty all right in melee, but I don't care if the dog dies. It's not important to me. The assassin is. They end up fighting the, the dog and killing the dog, and then usually they'll end up wounded, right? Because maybe I'll hit in with a crit, so all of a sudden... Well, I mean, this guy's, this guy's the sergeant, but... All of a sudden... I mean, it wouldn't matter. I'm still doing four damage. But, like, all of a sudden, this guy takes three damage, right? That means a basic hit kills him. You know, he takes a crit. Um, you know, that means, like, a damage three attack kills him. You know, like, the medic could charge in and, and kill him with her three, four attacks. Like, there's so many ways that I can kill once this happens. Um, it, it, it keeps the assassin really, really well protected. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to show that. This game... Or this, uh, we're going on two and a half hours now. So if you guys paid attention, um, good on you. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to try sneaking in little, uh, little tactical like tips at the end of all my videos just to reward people who have been, um, you know, sticking around and watching them. So you should, you should look forward to those. Um, or, or at the very least, we'll talk about my, my rants and stuff. So. Until next time, guys, uh, we're going to be getting some Hand of the Archon games in this week. Uh, we are going to be getting in definitely some RBD's games in. This team's 
terrible, but I want to grind out games with them because I guess I hate myself. <laughs> I did it with Hyrotech Circle, and we're going to do it with these guys too. Um, and then I'll probably get some more Star Striders games in because I'm, I'm still unsure on what I want to take. I'm like, just, just to kind of explain where my head's at, I'm probably like 60% Star Striders. I'm probably like 50% Star Striders, 30% Hand, and 20% Corsairs is, is kind of where I'm at on my decision right now. I want to play Hand, but they're kind of bad in ITD. Uh, they're really, really strong in open play, um, but they have a really bit hard time opening doors. Um, Star Striders kind of struggle, but their, their damage output is so lethal uh, when they get close, and... Um, it's so much easier to hit people with support assets and into the dark than it is in open. So you kind of get around that. And then Corsairs are uh, both good and in into the dark and normal play. However, they, um, they're they not stronger overall compared to Star Striders and, and Hand. Um, I think Hand of the Archon's probably going to be a top five team once... Uh, once people get some more practice with them, I could even see them being a top three team. I, I could totally see Hand of the Archon taking over the game uh, just because of how lethal they are and how how good the team is at doing what they want to do. Um, but we'll see. That's going to be it, guys. I'll see you next time.